reporting data in Odoo 16 allows for a quick and accurate transfer of large amount of information saving time and resources. And in this video, we cover how product and product categories can be imported in Odoo 16. So let me get into the inventory module and let's convert or let's export and import uh, the product categories first in Odoo 16. So under the configuration menu, we have a feature called product categories where you could find all the product categories that are currently available. So um, when you just move on to the uh, product categories here, you can select any one of the category. We can directly export all the categories if we want. And uh, I need to export right now one of the category uh, or let me yeah, choose uh, any one and you can see that afterwards let me click on action as i choose uh, one of the category you can see a button will be visible here and you can just export the data and if you want to just update the data import compatible you can enable that or you can uh, remove that so currently i'm using the field that is display name which is the display name of the product category and you can export the data so here we are going to export the data now i need to import a new category so let me import the category as uh, so let me save this file and you can save this file and let's see how can we import the data for that you can just move on to the odoo platform and let me close this Afterwards, you can just move on to the favorites and click on import records and this would allow you to uh, import the categories so that once you are choosing a product, you can easily find to which category does that product belongs to. So you can just click on upload file and here you can see the file that need to be uploaded and here you can just choose a file. So let me choose a file and here I have to set the display name as name and I need to give the yeah let me choose it as name and after afterwards we can just click on test and everything seems to be valid right now and let me click on import so once I import you can see that two records have successfully imported and you can find the imported records over here which is all food and all service travel is the categories that we have just imported now let's see how can we import a new product from uh, I mean export and uh, import product so for that you can just move on to the products and here you can see all the products which is in its Kanban view so in order to uh, import a product first you have to move on to the list view uh, which means in order to export the uh, products you have to move into the list view and here you can see all the product with its product name and further details and let's see how can we import a product into Odoo so for that either you can choose every uh, details or you can select all the products and import so importing and exporting is um, used to get the large quantities or large uh, number of data in a single click so if you want to enter a large number of data into your system it is very easy in Odoo by just importing the Excel sheet or CSV file. So let me choose one of the uh, product which is Corner Desk Writes It and you can choose the button action and just let me click on export and you can see currently we have a certain field that is suggested by Odoo. So I want to update the data which is import compatible. So I will be choosing. So as I choose that uh, Odoo will suggest the required fields over here and you can just click on export so currently i have just uh yeah exported a file and let me uh give the bar code over here and if you want to give the company name and standard price everything you can set so let me set the standard price as 50 and i need to set this as favorite and if you want to give the default code you can set that then here you can all other things so let me give the name of the uh, name of the product as book and uh, 
here if you want to add the pos category you can add that if you want to add other category you can add so let me choose it as all saleable so this comes under all saleable so i will be providing the category as all saleable and if you want to enter any product tag ids you can enter that and i am setting this as storable product and i want to get its list price and i will be selling this and purchasing this in units and i have just given all the uh, details so let me also add another uh, thing which is uh, chocolate so let me add a product which is chocolate choco 56 and here i will be providing the price and i need to set it into favorite and let's provide the name of the chocolate as KitKat. I mean default code as KitKat. And let me provide the name of the product as KitKat itself. And afterwards, uh, let me choose the category as on. And here I can change the category into all food. Afterwards, let me set it as storable product. And finally, setting the list price and you can set the units of measurement and afterwards you can save this. So let me save the Excel format. So once I save this Excel format, I will be back to my Odoo platform and here, let's see how can we import the record. So in order to import the record, you can just move on to the favorites and click on import record and this would allow you to import the record. So if you want to import the template for the product, uh, you can just use this and this would allow you to download that. And currently let me just upload the file. So you can just choose the file that you need to upload and let me open that. Afterwards, you can see we have just given everything and you can just click on test. And currently the file contains blocking error. So let me remove that blocking error by uh yeah create new value and let me give on test and now everything seems to be valid and afterwards you can see three records have currently imported and you can see all those three records over here and let me um yeah move the view into kanban and you can see that as we have just imported a uh, book and kitkat and one other product which was in the uh, excel sheet uh, all those products were currently imported and you can see uh, currently we don't have any on hand quantity and you can see the price of the product and you can also see all other things and you can also get we have just given the product category as all saleable for book and we can see the the data that we have given in the excel sheet is currently imported in the odoo and uh, under the KitKat also, you can see it comes under the category as all food, uh, the type of the product as storable, the invoicing policy is ordered quantity and saleable, I mean sales price is 10 and its cost is 30 and everything is given over here. So it is very easy uh, in order to import and export the data in Odoo 16. Uh, so this would allow you to integrate more data with Odoo platform and you can just import and export the data in a single click now if you want to view the products of a particular category you can also find the product under each category so you can choose uh, the product categories from the configuration settings of inventory and when you choose product category here you can see all the categories that we have created and imported so when you choose all food you can see uh, we have one product under this category because we have only imported one product for this category and uh, that shows the entire details of the product uh, that we have given and you can also find the category over here so uh, this also shows the number of product under each category so this is very uh, easy like the importing and exporting of product categories and product is very easy in Odoo 16 so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video